We're back on DayZ. We're on PlayStation 5. We're doing a walkthrough of the game. So we're going to be doing some gameplay, kind of giving tips and suggestions along the way, talking about the game and how to kind of survive and deal with certain situations. Uh, I did this on PlayStation 4, and a lot of people actually really did check it out after a while, and I got a lot of comments on people kind of being like, hey, can you do more? You know, it's, why didn't you do more of this? And I thought with the PlayStation 5 version being available now, hey, Let's do it. So yeah, Daisy, game of survival. I don't think we really need to talk about what it is, but more or less kind of go through and, and try to survive here. So we've got like the very basics uh, presented here, and this is as of the 1.11 update. So yeah, let's see how this kind of goes. First off the bat, we're gonna, well, we're lucky we kind of spawned near, you know, a housing area. So we're gonna try to find basically something that we can use like resource wise. And also really take into account the isolation, or insulation level, isolation. This whole game is isolation, but the insulation level of clothing. So we've got some dead zombies down there. That means people are uh, possibly nearby, so that's something to keep in mind as well in order to deal with them. I guess I could just walk through the fence there. Uh, but the main thing is we're trying to find lots of foods so that we can survive longer in order to come across different weapons and stuff, right, in order to survive and not die. Ooh, uh, kind of a bad helmet, but a helmet nonetheless. Always looking for upgrades when it comes to pants and stuff like that as well. We want better clothing so we can hold more items, but not clothing that's going to necessarily slow down our stamina meter by any degree, and hopefully find like a weapon or something. And this is really isn't the best of areas to kind of be spawning at. Like, it may seem like it, but this town is usually a, a very popular hot spot that a lot of players really like kind of going to. Oh, haha! -ha! That's hilarious. Did they, ah, oh, they did not get both trapped in there. That's not good. Uh, I also always suggest using this either in a browser format or on an app. There's this thing called I Survive, and it's basically this system, like this online thing, or again, an app that you can use that basically just tells you where things are. It's just like a full map of the world of DayZ. I find it you know, to be quite helpful. Did I not grab that? I didn't grab the frying pan. That's not great. I kind of want to trap this guy somewhere. We're going to use the shed over here. I think that might be a good idea. Uh, it should work quite well. I wanted to trap him in the big warehouse, but that really wasn't working. There we go. We got a weapon, so that's kind of good. I'm going to use this to kind of club people down. I'm not really wanting to deal with the zombies, so we're going to do it the lazy way and kind of hold them down there. So if you didn't know, you can hotkey items by using the uh, the left stick. You hold it in there on the uh, the pipe wrench, and then you can press X on whatever slot you want, and then you can hold uh, R1 in order to go over to it, press A, and um, select it or deselect it. And yeah, it's just kind of a helpful little tip in regards to hotkeying and managing your inventory. I find these buildings, uh, not lucky this time, but if you go to the second level, sometimes you might find like a gun or something like that. And guns basically never have bullets or ammunition in them. You always have to find that out in the world, uh, which is a bit of a pain, but uh, it's part of DayZ, obviously, right? Now, I am making a lot of noise, uh, which can be not great. And as you can see, my food and my water meters are going down quite a bit, which is not good, but at least it's during the day, so we're finding more ammo, strangely enough. Okay, so we do spawn with a food item. So you want to eat your food item kind of gradually, uh, I say that because it actually fills higher than it initially shows, and you basically want to conserve your food and your water as well, keeping in mind that running about, like I am, uh, will actually eat up your food and water a little bit quicker than just like walking around. So you're probably wondering why I'm doing that. Um, well, basically just because I want to keep the pace of the video kind of going. And as you can tell there, I, I swapped shoes. So shoes you actually need to change occasionally because uh, shoes will basically, well, uh, they break down, and after a while, if they're broken, they will make you bleed from your feet. And you might be like, "Why? What am I cut from?" Or something like that. And it's your feet. <laughs> so yeah, ooh, the men's suit jacket might be a little skinny. I don't know if that would be more isolated or isolated, insulated. Jeez, unbelievable. But yeah, you can kind of go up to the item here, and you can just kind of wave over it, and then it'll show up. It'll tell you the insulation. Uh, you know, it'll tell you in the top left there the degree of like the shape that it's in. I guess we'll pick up the shades. The shades don't do anything, they're just aesthetically pleasing, but 
Yeah, I'm hoping we come across some sort of, like, food supply here in a sec. But I'm kind of feeling like this town might be picked dry or something like that. The next town's uh, a bit off. See, but, like, we're along the coast, kind of in the southern side. So we're going to move more towards the middle of the map here. Ooh, a backpack. Nice. So backpacks, obviously, you know, more space that you can use for stuff. Uh, always great, different types of backpacks. Keep in mind, some are bulkier and may make you show up more uh, if you're fighting other people. Obviously, the color of your equipment matters too. So, you know, try to stay away from bright colored things like I've been using here. What is with all the ammunition everywhere? I don't know if people have noticed that in this update here, but it seems like ammunition stuff just a lot more common. Um, so was food when I was playing it before, but we're not running, really running across that yet either. Uh, so you can actually find like food and water in the environment too. Well, not really. Yeah, they really need to add that actually. You can find some food in the environment, like apples. You might like come across like an apple tree and see it on the ground. Uh, water, you can, if in desperation, drink from like, I guess you could say lakes and stuff, but you might get sick and make it worse and then you're like vomiting stuff up, which isn't great. So yeah, the uh, the military little spots there, or the police stations, usually dangerous, but uh, if you can get in there, you can get some decent stuff. Hmm. I like these little shacks. They usually sometimes have food or water kind of sitting on the sides of them, so they're always worth checking out. Uh, but yeah, I'm assuming that that military base has been... Uh, well, it's, it's not really military, it's just like a police station. I assume it's been raided, so... Oh yeah, it looks like somebody was cooking in there. So that means that this place has been recently visited by people. I thought that was an icon saying there's something there. Oh, a denim, denim skirt. Oh yes, that's that's the best. Which what I've always wanted when surviving in the lands of Daisy. Yeah, it definitely looks like infected have been around here. Sometimes the infected will have uh, like food on their person. So it's worth taking a look at the infected to see uh, if they have any sort of supplies on their person. Looks like we're getting very unlucky, or unlucky, uh, unluckily, we're very unlucky, this is, this is what I'm trying to mostly say, just in regards to running across, like, food, but again, that's because mostly it looks like someone was here uh, not too long ago, they could have signed off at this point, but we'll have to be careful, like, everything's kind of open, so I assume they kind of ran through, grabbed their stuff, and perhaps left, which is fine, right, like, things might pop back every once in a while. Again, being careful about things. I actually, I really find uh, combat-wise, if you need a little edge, if you're doing like fisticuffs, you can like zoom in with the double tap on the uh, the right stick there, and uh, yeah, you seem to be able to line stuff up better if you're doing the whole fisticuffs type of thing, which is neat for sure. Hmm. It's kind of hoping we'd come across something good here. I don't really see that there's any people around. I don't know if I want to check out the northern houses. There's rarely ever any loot in them, from what I've noticed. Um, well, sometimes you get it because they, they haven't been checked out yet. But it just seems like this uh, whole little city here has been kind of just, like, picked dry. We can go here and we can kind of drink. Um, I get a little bit sick. We'll see here. We'll, we'll drink a little bit. We'll see what happens. I'm already diseased, so that's not great. Oh, yeah, it definitely looks like there's a player. So they're coming to either be friendly and uh nope they are not a friend at all so this is where you get into that situation where you can kind of juke to the side and fight them uh, as you can see i've knocked them out but they're not necessarily dead so you kind of want to make sure that you finish them off um, so that they're actually finished and dead dead okay i don't know if they're actually let me see if they're the body right now survivor red marks like oh 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 I, I did very well there for about <laughs> for a little bit of time. That was really interesting. Huh. I think I'm going to keep that in there as a good kind of reminder that even if your best effort is kind of shown in DayZ and then you're able to best an opponent, you may very well just be completely eliminated by something entirely out of your control. Now, I guess we could have, you know, to a degree, tried to talk to these people, but obviously the guy saw me there at the uh, the fountain, and their first instinct was to attack me. So, you know, you could be smart, and you could straight up just, like, you know, leave the area. You could run away. I could have done that there. I think I would have been shot down from the other guy, but I had a decent amount of confidence that I was going to be able to 
knock out my opponent there, and that's why I kept in the fight, because I had the belief that I could, um, you know, obviously survive there. And, uh, I mean, I did, right? But, uh, obviously, even despite the best of my uh, abilities, and what I could in that situation, I got uh, bested by somebody taking a shot from a distance. So there's not a whole lot you can do in that situation if people have a gun. And we've got lots of zombies here. So zombies aren't like the biggest deal in the world to me, but um, you know, they can be quite a problem. There's a lot of zombies in this like particular spot. Yeah, this is never a great location for kind of chilling around. Rarely any good supplies in here anyways. So we're gonna kind of get in here. We want to get to the houses to the side there anyway, because we want to get like food. Uh, okay, we don't really need that, so we'll leave that for somebody else to run across if they want to. Jumpsuit pants. Um, I don't know. I don't know, it's kind of neat. Like, I know for doing like a walkthrough thing, I kind of wonder it's like the idea of kind of having deaths in it, but I, I do actually think that that one is a legitimate, interesting, and kind of good one to kind of keep in there just because it's, you know, very fascinating from the perspective of you know, trying to survive, and that being a big part of Daisy. There we go, everybody inside. And yeah, there we go. So I just dealt with, like, I don't know, uh, ten zombies, I think, several zombies. So they're all locked in there, they can't do anything now. I'm just chill out and leave. So that's kind of how I deal with a lot of zombies in the game, is uh, just kind of doing a little bit of uh, juke maneuver here and there. And uh, yeah, just kind of leaving zombies trapped and things like that. You know, you can get around. So long as they don't overwhelm you, because that that can happen, you know, they can they can definitely overwhelm you for sure. And then you're just like absolutely screwed, but <laughs> Yeah, kind of fun there. Boxed nice. So we got some more ammunition. It definitely seems like ammunition is more available. They said there was supposed to be less ammunition in this update, but yet I, I keep coming across more and more, which is surprising. Yeah, and I also like to take uh, some things you might not need if you have the inventory space, just because you never know when it might be like, hey, I could use this. Um, this is a bar, and there's not really going to be anything too good in here. I'm going to check out this area here, then wrap back. So these buildings sometimes have, like, guns and stuff in them. And ammo, as you saw. But you go over here, this is, like, the storage wars area, I like to call it. Uh, sometimes you find, like, a weapon in there, like a blunt object, you know, like a shovel or something like that which would be tops, right, just so I have, like, a weapon to defend myself, like I did with the the big wrench there. So, yeah, like I said, you, you gotta be careful of other people, too, right? Like, other people are not really gonna be friendly in this game, and they You'll come across, rarely, some people that are nice, but for the most part, um, yeah, not great. And keep your glow sticks on, like, night is a lot more bearable, but it's still, like, pretty dark. So you get a tire iron, not really necessarily the best item in the world, but, um, you know, something to, something to use, right? Just in case we need to defend ourselves to a degree. Oh, anything better? Yeah, like the spot here, it's like these things just don't carry as much good stuff as they used to. I love trapping zombies in these rooms, though. They're very, very good for trapping zombies. This zombie here, which I actually want to kill because I want his bag. Oh, we got very much rewarded for that kill, didn't we? Okay, it looks like that stuff is glitched. So if we put it into our hands, that kind of sometimes unglitches things. So now we have a potato, and we've got some spites. So we got a little bit of drink, a little bit of food. That's great. Uh, we can use that to kind of survive. Again, taking bites out of things, not necessarily eating the full amount of our food in order to conserve it over a longer period of time. Ooh, a jerry can would be very helpful if I was uh, doing any sort of like uh, I guess you could say truck or car fixing so we'll switch off to those and yeah if you didn't know you can kind of hold uh, L1 and you can move the right stick to like kind of look around without moving your character if that makes sense like not moving your character's direction of where they're going kind of if you need to look to the side or look back it's, it's a neat little Need a little mechanic that could uh, potentially save your life or come in handy. Uh, usually we would take duct tape, but duct tape isn't quite as uh, helpful as it once was because they've kind of patched out the uh, the helpfulness of it. <laughs> it. Kind of made it a little bit more useless. Hoodie, cool, cool. Actually, a hoodie might be smarter because of the cold element. So we're gonna switch this over there. Hopefully that's actually the case here. And then that zombie there, we don't really want to deal with. So we're gonna. Oh wow, that didn't actually work on that one. 
Oh, uh, that's fine. Uh, we can close that side there. We can get the zombie to... Oh, burlap sack. We can make it possibly a ghillie suit someday. And uh, we'll trap that zombie there. It's nice to see you, zombie. Have a good day. Catch you around. Yeah, okay. Let's keep going. Wow, there are a lot of zombies over here. So that's not great. Uh... Let's head over here towards where the buildings are more at. Oh jeez, looks like we're being chased by an entourage, which is not good. Uh, but we're in the open, so we have a lot of kind of distance to get places. It's just there's not really a lot of, I guess you could say, buildings that we could immediately kind of trap the zombies into. How many do we get here? One, two, not the biggest deal. We could eliminate them, uh, but, uh, you know. I don't know if that would be too beneficial to me at this moment. Fishing hunts aren't worth it, but sometimes in here you'll find, like, food and stuff. I don't, I don't know why I did that, with, especially with the zombies at the door. We're going to have to defend ourselves here with a tire iron. Again, with first person possibly being an easier way to kind of deal with this for getting headshots, because headshots will kill your enemy faster. So as you can see, we were able to eliminate both of our threats. And we can put that away. Did I have the, the spite lemonade? I did. Okay, good. So we're going to continue eating our plum, though, because it gives a little bit of food and water, because we don't want to dive into other things yet. So we're just going to finish that off right here. And you can get sick if you eat too much of the food at once. Oh, uh, score. It looks like we're... Are we out of... No, it's just glitched again. That's fair. Backpack. I don't think this backpack is any better than the backpack we have. Faulty 2. Faulty 2. Yeah, okay. Sorry, i got to go down here and fix up my, uh, crap, what was that for? Okay, so that, and then, oh, it's just not working for my rolling here. There we go, because I want to, there we go, switch perspectives. There, now we're kind of in the middle again. Sorry, it's just totally weird when it's like that. Uh, sometimes that happens when you're rolling and you're trying to look all cool doing your tactical rolls. So that's like aim in when you're lying down and you, like, double tap, like your L1 and R1 and stuff. Let's go side to side. It's a neat little thing. And again, we're not doing like a tips here, or tips and tricks directly. We are doing like a bit of a, a walk through through the day of Daisy, you know, kind of trying to survive and everything like that. Which obviously we didn't successfully do when we died there, but it's a good learning lesson, mainly. Especially in that situation where, like I said, going back to it again, which I'm sure people are tired of, but I just want to reinforce the idea that like, you're going to die in this game. And, you know, you got to take it in stride. And even your best efforts might uh, do nothing for you. <laughs> Let's just end up with you dying. So this place, I, I don't really like going through this part of the town. Because there's not really... What I'm looking for off the bat, survival-wise, is not going to be at the docks here. Go for the tuna next. Yeah, the food and the water systems are still brutal. You can, like I mentioned earlier, walk around and... That's going to do a lot less to your food and your water meters, but trying to keep things a little bit more interesting, movement-based hiking pants. No, oh, okay. So I'm going to head more into the town, town part of this area. Uh, these, these docks don't normally really have too much. Like Sometimes the military boxes will have something good in them, but, you know, not too often. I don't specifically even know why I'm headed in this direction. Was that a person or a zombie? It's really on the move. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure it's okay. I don't think I have them there. So I'm guessing there might be a person around here or something. That's why that zombie's all like messed up. Oh, there's a zombie again. Really want to deal with one. I don't. I don't like going through these buildings because there's usually rarely anything in them. Even at like the lower level or the higher level, you don't find stuff. So again, I'm gonna try to move towards more of a more of a place where we're likely going to find some actual helpful uh, supplies. Although if you're running down that middle street and you see like the buildings that have like a cafe set up in them, those ones the, you'll get you'll get food there. Because I don't know if you've noticed that, but I'm mostly trying to find like food and water and stuff so that I can build up a surplus of that as I begin, you know, kind of hunting for better resources uh, around there. Sometimes we get some stuff in here. Is that a rotten potato? 
Yeah, looks like a very, yeah, a rotten tomato and moat, what I want. The rotting mechanic, one more thing you gotta deal with, right? Don't forget to periodically check your shoes, or swap out your shoes, so you can find some other stuff. Uh, got some more ammunition, cool, cool, for guns I don't have. Nice, 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 nice. So we're in this area, it's a pretty popular uh, town. At least I think so, you know, you get quite a few people that go here. I have found in my experience that the apartments don't really have a lot of stuff in them. But like I've always said, uh, going into the greenhouses, usually a good spot for food. Gas canister, I'm not really doing any cooking, or I don't plan to show any of that off. Uh, oh yeah, don't forget guys, if you want to see this continued, you know, likes and stuff, and uh, you know, comments directly telling me that you want to see more of this uh, type of daisy adventure, really helpful letting me know that this is what you want to see. Keep in mind, when I'm doing this climbing, I actually have to watch for my stamina meter there. Because if the stamina meter is not high enough, I can't climb things. You don't want to get caught against the wall with a bunch of zombies and not be able to climb your way out. <laughs> and I always find, you know, kind of going off a little bit to places where you don't think people would necessarily walk to might actually be helpful for you. Oh, multivitamins, fantastic. So those are great for when you get, like, sickness and stuff like that. The multivitamins are tops. Uh, let's see what we got. Ooh, a zucchini. Nice, 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 nice. She could use that in multiple ways. Haha. <laughs> Anyways, you're out here on the apocalyptic lands. It's it's not easy life, that's for sure. I'm looking around, see if we can find anything else. Anything good in there? Nope. Okay. Anything up here? No, no supplies up there. Okay, let's see what else we got. Uh, anything good is going to be in one of these houses. There's a lot of, like, kind of scavenging and hoping you come across things. I know last time I did, like, a, a walkthrough on this, I was, like, finding guns, like, left, right, and center. It was ridiculous, but it doesn't always happen like that. Sometimes you find the, the only gun you find is the uh, the bottom of the barrel <laughs> as you're getting shot. But I, I think there's uh, some more heavier kind of important buildings coming up here that will kind of just accelerate our trip, too, so that maybe we can find some... Higher tier loot to kind of show off here. Let's see, we're in a little bit of a city area, so normally I'd check out these houses, especially up there. You can probably find some good stuff. Um, but we're going to go to the fire station, because the fire stations usually give us like a weapon or two. Which are good, and uh, yeah. Definitely not my favorite city for finding loot, though. Ooh, what do we got there? Maybe something for gardening? Packed pepper seeds. If I was, you know, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll end up gardening with this character. We'll, we'll pick that up there. There we go. It's touchy sometimes. Very, very touchy. So I'm going to get out my uh, craptacular tire iron. And uh, yeah, we're going to prepare to kind of go into the fire station in a sec here. Because that uh, usually has like at least a weapon or some better gear for holding on to stuff. So. Medical thermometer. Is there something in the game, Johnny? I don't know, I was just hearing something there. Hmm. So yeah, this usually attracts people as well, the fireplaces, so uh, be cautious. Oh, these little green areas sometimes have like weapons in them and stuff. You might find like a gun. Flat cap. Um, sweater is actually uh, pretty... It's a little bit of a, an improvement for me, inventory-wise, and a little bit more insulation. Oh, anything in here? Hmm. Ah, actually, what, what are these pants like? Firefighter pants. There we go. It's a nice bump up. See the firefighter stuff. Lots of inventory. Lots and lots of inventory. You can get like the whole outfit. And even their helmet's kind of good for blocking off against, uh, you know, shots and everything like that. So, firefighter. Okay, did he not notice me at all? That's weird. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Now we got uh, firefight jacket. That's good. That's very good. Uh, I kind of want an axe, though, so we're going to kind of sneak around here and see if we can find an axe up on the second level. Closing the door behind us. Oh, wait, 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 there's nothing. Okay, never mind. And, uh, yeah, let's run through the building, because I don't think you would have heard us. If there's going to be an axe, it would be here, because it wasn't in the other area. 
Doesn't look like we're coming across an axe at all, so that's not good. Not good, because I wanted an axe. I wanted to ask me a question. Oh. Jumpsuit jacket. Cool, cool. Yeah, no axe for us. Uh, normally I just jump off the building, but I don't really want to f or feel like losing a lot of health today. Oh, looks like we're taking a hit. That's not good. And get on that guy. Nope. Okay, looks like our food and stuff is down. But as you can see, we've got now more hockey spots, so we've got better inventory. And yeah, occasionally you can find a map here, but like I said, I survived. It's uh, really the best for that. And you can see that we're right here on the south. It's kind of a good indicator if you don't know where you are in the game. But a lot of playing Daisy is uh, eventually learning, you know, kind of uh, where you are. And uh, that does make a big difference in terms of, you know, survival and everything like that. Teddy bears. That's supposed to bury something. Come on. Come in. Come in. Come on. Can they not get in here? Are they glitched? This would be so boring in real life having to deal with zombies is stupid. They're glitched. Ooh, this is dangerous. There we go. Oh, there's another one? Oh, give me a break. Come on. You know, I trapped the other zombie so effectively, it's, it's just a little disheartening because I was like all grooving and stuff, and then there's just this one. Kind of wanting to get injured so I can show that off a little bit. It's a big part of surviving in this game is having to bandage yourself up. Then again, I see my stuff starting to get damaged, which is not good. I don't like my clothing getting damaged. It's a pain to deal with. Alright, let's see if we can swap the tire iron there. Let's see if we can find anything here. Because uh, we're getting to a big part of the town where I'm kind of hoping that we come across something neat. And normally if I had more time, we'd be really looking at every little spot of this experience. But we're trying to be fast there. Like, get some water from there. We could have... Oh, what, what, what's, what's right here? Sometimes there's stuff here. Sewing kit. Nice. Okay. Yeah, take that. Oh, do, 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 do. It's kind of main street area usually maybe has like a good spot and this is the building we're looking for to see if we come across maybe some sort of like a gun or ammunition or something oh, come on again you know mileage will vary oh there we go let's throw away the tire iron and let's take the pickaxe because we can use that for multiple things mostly for breaking hearts Denim jacket. Okay, cool. Hmm. Not really seeing anything good. Sometimes there'd be a gun in this. Let's check the second level. Well, like I said, you know, like uh, different rooms, different stuff. So you might actually find guns in like some of these rooms. It'd surprise you. Uh, I don't think I've ever found a gun in this one, but uh, usually this room, you know, if you come across a gun or on the table or something like that, does not appear to be the case today, though. We are getting very, very unlucky. And it's, they're not here either. This area has been. Completely looted up, no point of, eh, well, we'll show up here, but there's like never really anything I've seen spawn on this level, so we're gonna kind of go down, we're gonna go to a little bit more of a dangerous area, try to find another gun or something like that, because I like to show that we actually get weapons and it's successful, but uh, yeah, we are kind of winding, winding down on our time today, but this spot here is kind of a little bit of a, a military area where you might find a gun or two in one of these tents. Ooh, rice. Oh, that's such a good thing to get. That fills your stomach really well. Let's get those cool kicks. <laughs> really awesome kicks, but uh, yeah, gun, gun, gun. Crap yet. No, looks like the gun wasn't in the cards today for this particular part, but that happens. So that's all right. I'm actually kind of happy with what we wound up with, though, because, I mean, we've got like a, a really good, healthy supply of like food, water, you know, we got some vitamins. That's really good stuff. Like that's that's the kind of stuff that could really let you get to a far place, like get to a far town and not die. Oh, looks like uh, the cards were in my favor, or well, things were in my favor. Now, obviously, it's a gun without any ammunition, so we have to find ammunition. But you know, it's just kind of nice to come across a gun and at your local grocery store too. It's a bit surprising. Usually, you don't uh, find that here. You get food. <laughs> Definitely, but weird. That's 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 genuinely for sure. And then we've got uh, 
one more spot to check out here that might have um, a gun or something or ammunition in that that we need and that's like this little police spot here this the end of this little town section so I'll just kind of wrap up by looking in here uh, nope looks like we are out of luck yeah we're not going to come across that today but i hope you enjoyed and if you want to see more be sure to let me know and stuff and i hope you found this kind of helpful yeah the easy walkthrough on playstation 5